It's all connected. 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 January 18, 2021. Yep, this is uh, episode number 26 of the It's All Connected program. And this program is entitled Destroyer Build, Fight or Grow. Ooh. And, and um, so I'm not sure that fight or grow are actually opposites of, of each other. Uh, They're not. But, but de- they accomplish two very different things. But destroy or destroy or build are are opposites of each other. Yes, they would be. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, um, by the way, that's my 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 lovely co-host there, Circle. I'm pointing to my ear. I don't know why, because um, <laughs> that's where I hear you. Um, <laughs> I am the little little elf that lives inside Grimnir's ear. Yes, yes. Yes. She tickles my ear sometimes. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, ooh, little, why, why my fingers are cold? Um, a, a, anyway, uh, <laughs> how cold is it where you are, Grim? It's, it's not that cold. It's fifty degrees, which, which is, is with ten, ten for for you Celsius okay, people. Wow. Um, no, I think we're like minus eight or something right now. Oh well, that's. Colder. Cold. <laughs> Colder. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, if you're out there listening somewhere in the uh, interwebs and you're not here in the chat room on Real Liberty Media, come on over, jump on in, talk to the folks. We got a nice group of folks here. We always do. Uh, all kinds, all kinds of cool people. We got Rob and 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 Flash. I was going to say we, we got nice people and Rob, and but Rob. then you nice. go to destroy. <laughs> Nice people and Rob. Uh, and Rob. <laughs> and Flash and the barman and Dana and uh, all the other bots. And we got Kate and... and, and uh, Kate uh, is one of the nice people. Yeah. Moose Girl. I don't even know if Moose, Moose Girl's awake yet. Moose, are you awake yet? Um, <laughs> anyway, there's a whole group of folk in here. Uh, come on over, jump on in, and, and be part of the chat. And uh, you, you too can say, hey, I participated in the It's All Connected program, although... Uh, only via participated. tech. Participated. It's a big thing. You participated. It's, it's, you can help build. You can help build. Or build or grow or wh- wh- whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or, or you can fight. Because that happens a lot here in the chat. Um, okay, most girls, is she, she's not ready to chat during the program. Okay. Mm-hmm. Meh. <laughs> right. And we already offended Rob, so it's a perfect win when we're going. Yeah, yeah, it, it's absolutely great. Thank so, you for listening, Moose Girl. So, what, what, um, what kind of things do you believe will uh, benefit from destruction or or building? Well, I think that. Um, well, first off, to me, the interesting thing is like the, um, you know, because you only got so much energy and so much time, right? Right. So um, that's where the ore kind of comes into it, right? The ore? Oh, the ore. Well, instead of, yes. instead okay. of the end. Okay. Right? Um, All right. So it's pretty much about what are you going to um, use your energy and time on. All right. And I think it it leads to two very different things. Whether or not you um you destroy, you spend your energy invested in destroying that which you wish to change, right? Yes, but well, that which is in your way of the change you want to see or whatever you want to be you know, destroy that, or you can use your energy growing what it is that you want. Okay, but, um, okay, let's say you uh, 
you know, have a... a that little... is not true, Moose Girl, though. Uh, let's, let's, it's not true. Let's, let's say there's something that you want to build, but there's something already there in the place that you want to build that thing, right? Yeah. So do you not have to destroy it before you build it? Well, that's a choice, isn't it, though? It is. It's, well, I can I, see if you, if you want to occupy that exact spot, then, of course, yes, then you're going to have to destroy whatever there is. And then you can build. But maybe, well, and then you can build. But maybe, you know, <laughs> you, you can also, uh, you know, maybe find a different place to grow or a different place to build. Okay. I, I understand everything is a balance and everything is choices. Right. And and also there's that whole energy thing, right? Yeah, because you are you are up you are you know, you are in different vibrations when you do one or the other, right? Wouldn't you say? Uh, maybe. It depends on and on what your your end goal is. I mean if your end goal is to build and have the thing built, then your energies in the destruction portion of that would would still basically be on the same lines. Uh, well, you know, even though you're destroying it, you're you're destroying it to build back better. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but what if my end goal is to thrive? Okay, tell me. Well, well, that I I that is my end goal is to thrive, though, isn't it? Oh well, maybe possibly. That would be my end goal of, of most things is to thrive in life and learn and be happy and create happiness and, and help other people thrive. So. And so um, define for me what you mean by thrive. Um, to grow and to um, produce and accomplish, you know, to have the most healthy existence and um, for the best outcome and best use of your potential. Okay. So, you know, that's what nature does, though, isn't it? It seeks, you know, to thrive. And, and are you, at this point in time, thriving within your own life? Um... Well, um, I try to, but the external world, I don't see, you know, how we as um, earthly beings on this planet with all the pollution there is around us, that would be um, a, a big um, threat to to thriving, right? It could be. That's, that's, it, it, it yeah, depends. that's not part of thriving. But I do have a, I, I have a spiritual life that I, I trust will outbalance that to somewhat. Okay, so in in your um, process or, or uh, post your process of building, it's possible that whatever you built could also destroy. Yeah, well, I'm not saying that uh, one is better than the other, build or destroy. I'm saying there are different energies and they will accomplish different things. Okay. I, I I I don't believe that we can live in a world where we just build and build and build and we never destroy, right? No, no, absolutely not. I mean, you know, it, you know, it's different though, depending on your location, obviously, because where there's a whole compact group of people, cities, um, mm -hmm. every everything, you know, it seems that whatever they build causes destruction of some sort or another. Okay. Yeah, and 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 building something else can you know um, destroy something that was may you know by taking away all its sustenance, right? Uh, yeah, like sure, when, sure. Like when you have a you have a garden bed in your garden, and uh, if you keep getting weeds you don't want, you can plant uh, strawberries, and strawberries will will cover the whole plant bed of uh, the soil fast. It's stronger than weeds, but it won't take as much of the um, nutrition, so it won't cover and spread like uh, wheat will do. And it's a pretty flower, right? So that's one way of combating the weed. Okay, I, I did not know that. 
So they use little tiny strawberry plants to to combat the weed. So you can do that. You can you can grow and nurture that will eventually take the sun sustenance away from what it is that you wish to destroy, right? Okay, I see. I I, was, I didn't know that strawberries <laughs> would would wipe out the weeds. I, that's information. I I just learned something. Yeah. 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 You use the tiny little strawberry, uh, forest strawberries or wooden strawberries that um, are very, very small plants and they don't come. Yeah, well, they're great for combating weed. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll have to try that, see if it works. But I do know that I think that um, the energy you are in when you are building. Um, it's way it's way more open and, and vibrates in a more creative way than the one you are in when you are destroying. Yeah, destruction's far easier than creation. Because <laughs> you know, I mean, all you gotta really do is is uh, you know take whatever's there and just smash it down or tear it apart or, or whatever it is, depending. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so what, what are you, what are you on? Which, if there's the two teams, go team destruction and go team built. Well, um, for you know, like uh, for example, the uh, I have those uh, lights in my kitchen that I've been having to that I have to replace, right? Mm -hmm. Because the old ones that were in there uh, were you know outmoded and and uh, no longer functioning properly, so I have to destroy those to put in newer, more efficient, better ones. And mm -hmm. so I'm destroying A to put in B, to build B. Yes. So, uh, I, I, but it's all part of the same motion. There's not, it's not like it's a separate thing um, that the, the, the destruction is part of the, of, of the building. Mm-hmm. Well, that's because you have a plan, though, isn't it? Well, it, it, of course. <laughs> <laughs> now, building without a plan is probably not the best idea in the world. No. Well, uh, destruction without a plan is sort of the same, though, right? Uh, I guess. I guess, yeah. Uh, it's just uh, uh, if if the only part of your plan is the destruction, um mm. You, you should still have an end goal of what what that destruction is going to accomplish. Yeah. Right. Like if you, if, yeah. you, if you if you wanted to use a place where there's something at to you know make a, a farm or a, a garden or whatever, uh, mm. then you have a goal, and and you know even if you just destroy uh, the thing that was there hindering your <coughs> your desire. Mm. Then, uh, yeah, you get it right. Yeah, yeah. But, but I just, you know, and then when you look at the world, right? And I, I, I truly believe that there are more, um, more realms to this existence, right? Yeah, you mean parallel exist, parallel worlds, parallel. Well, I'm gonna go with um, more metaphors or more um. I don't know what I will call it, but I'm going to go with that energy and the, the energy that that we use and the energies around us. Right. Is is just as domineering and part, you know, just as real as the physical world we see around us, right? Yes, I, I would agree with that. So, so, and I think we covered this right in a previous show. The whole thing about the the energy you put into the process is part of the result you're going to achieve. Yeah, we we did, and and you know why? Why? It's all connected. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so I think one thing is you know the current plan and what you're going to achieve and the goals that are very concrete, but there is also the entire you know energy and frequency realm, and if we're just constantly in that destruction mode, right? Um, Especially when it's turned um, on peer to peer, as it is a lot right now. Yes. Yes. If we're just you're just caught in those frequencies and in those vibrations. And on an overall level, 
on this planet. That's not really where we want to go right now, is it? Those or, closed group thing, aggressive, where there is really no openness and no kindness and no understanding about anything. Yeah, I, and I don't think that's a right now thing. I think that's an always thing. Mm. I mean, you, you, it, it's never good to uh, limit yourself uh, on on a in in a way that you you are no longer uh, have the capability of growing. No, and I think we're kind of. I think, um, I think we're kind of reaching a point where the frequencies are so aggressive and defensive and everything, that that the whole trying to grow something that is not tainted from that, right? You know, it can only happen in very local places right now. So uh, tell tell me, because uh, you know, I know here in the U.S. Uh, the, groups of people and they put place themselves into these groups uh whatever that may be um uh, that there's there's definitely a lot of fighting between the groups in order to achieve whatever they believe uh is is the thing that they want to build uh but is it that way where you are uh no we don't all the um all the slang words about non-masks and uh, not masks or uh, um, all that. We There is none of that in right now in Denmark. Okay. So it, it's not like uh, there's pro and con or everything. But there are people who are not wearing the masks. And uh, it's very simple to not do in Denmark. You just don't. Yeah. And then you say, I, have, I am a medically... Um, I I medically decline it. And and in Denmark you don't have to show papers or say anything else. That's pretty much that. Okay. That's good. That's good, but are is there like um But uh, but people, you know, most people just put on the mask. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know they do. <laughs> and some of them get upset I when do. some some of them get upset when you don't have it on. Oh. And those are the people I worry about. <laughs> I don't, and that's the whole thing. I put on the mask because, first of all, I, 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 I can't. I really don't want to be put in that situation, right? In which, the, in the, in, and having Some somebody aggressive, uh, Karen or whatever, you know, getting at me, yelling at me, you know, attacking me for not doing what they want me to do. Have, and I know when I was younger, I used to love that. I was a punk, <laughs> right? I used to love that. I used to sit in the senior row with my fucking mohawk looking for a fight. But the older I get, it's just, <laughs> I really don't want to do that, right? Yeah, yeah, it gets old yeah. after a while. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to fight everybody all the time. So I just do, and and it's it's truly it's so limited because I'm just at home right now, and I take walks in the woods and hang out with the neighbors and my family, and none of that require a mask. Okay, I think but, I wear a mask like once every two three weeks or something like that. All right, have you seen besides wearing a mask when I'm outside because it's minus freaking cold and I I'm covering up my face when I go outside in this cold. Okay, but ha have you seen? over there, uh, whether on public transportation or just walking around the streets, whatever. Uh, have you have you seen um, a masked person yelling at an unmasked person? No, no. I haven't. Okay, good. I haven't. Uh, and, and besides, nobody's wearing masks out in the streets here. Oh, okay. No. Okay. It's when you go inside, when you go into a store or you, you know, all right. Get on the train, and lots of people. I see lots of people who are, who are not wearing them, especially young people on the train. Right, right. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. Man. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. So, um, okay. So the uh, yes, fight or grow, fight or grow, um, fight or grow. Yeah, it's the same. Well, you know, you can exactly you can spend your life fighting the what is right. 
Yes. And, oh, to, you, and to or, a degree, you, huh? I was saying, and to a degree, uh, the fighting is required in order to grow too, right? Just like the destruction is required to build, uh, you, you've got to fight, you know, um, the, the way things are, the status quo, uh, in order to 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 get past it, because a lot of uh, the status quo, of course, has a vested interest in keeping things the way they are, because that's how they profit. That, that, that. Mm. Well, I'm, I don't know. Okay, let's say you want to build a road, right? From right. A to B, and you want to build it from A to B, and you made that plan, and you're going to build that road, right? Okay. And then uh, your nemesis, uh, Frank, he wants to build a different road, right? Okay. And it's going to go from um, from his A to B, which is not exactly the same as yours. But the two roads are kind of redundant, right? Okay. So you are in non-consensus, you and Frank, about where the road is going to go <laughs> and how it's going to be built, right? Right. So you can either fight there about whose, whose road is the better, or you can just start building your roads and whomever, you know... Whoever had the best idea is going to succeed better than the other one. Okay. Well, my my nemesis is the state, and if not they Frank. not well, Frank may work for the state. I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. but uh, so my my nemesis is the state, and if they want to yeah. build a road, they're going to build a road. And if I want to build yeah. a road, they're not going to let me build that road. They they will do terrible, mm -hmm. violent things to me to stop me from building a road. Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> and so, so if Frank works for the state, his his road is going to get built, uh, you know, depending on whatever else is behind all that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. People, I don't know. All the time, people stop roads, and people build roads. Okay. Out out of government. Out of government. government, they build roads. Without government or against government. Okay. I, 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 if I look into the local news, yeah. there are tons of people who are, well, we build a road. We ducked this. This was my, I, I needed this path of land to be a road. And, and yeah, I don't know, just last year, uh, um, <laughs> there was one court case where or one guy who stopped the state from building a road. They actually built the road, but because it was on his property and they forgot how to, they forgot to do all the paperwork. They were just bullying him to building the road. Right. So he closed it because it, it's on my land, and he closed it. And he had success in just closing the road. He drove out and put hay, yeah, <laughs> hay on all the roads. See, see, over here in these wonderful land of the free United States, if they want to build a road and they plan that road and it goes straight through the middle mm -hmm. of your property, they're going to build that road and they're going to steal your property from you. Um, and mm -hmm. if you put some kind of obstruction in their way, they're going to do terrible, nasty things to you. Even yeah. though, Even though it's on your property. They don't care because... They they do what they call eminent domain, and they steal your land, they steal your property, uh, and and like I said, they they'll, they'll they'll kill you if you get in their way. I mean, they won't kill you every time, but, but you know. I understand that your force is so big, so you're gonna have to unite a lot to go against it. That's the that's because it's so big. Uh, yeah, and, and so arrogant, and and. <laughs> yeah, uh, they, they, it, your, your uh, whatever you believed were your rights here, they, they really don't exist. People think they have these rights. Oh, but the Constitution says, yeah, they don't care. Um, <laughs> not if you're alone, not if you can stand alone. But, you know, it, it's, it, it just goes back to Larden Rose and the tiny dot, doesn't it? It does. It does come back to the tiny dot. But um, as you see, most people don't. They don't realize that they're... No, they don't understand that, that the just... submissive one is the one with all the power. The state is the dominant one. Dominant, The dominant side don't have any power. Not unless people it... give it to them, but the thing yeah, yeah, is... Yeah, they're relying on other people giving it to and them. And they the, do. The submissive they... one holds the choices. Not, not only do they give them the power, but if you stand in the way of... 
them giving away their power to the all-powerful state, then you are now the, the, the enemy. You're now the problem. You're the yeah. one. You're the ones they're going to fight. Um, yeah. And destroy. And it's the same thing with the whole like masks and lockdowns and vaccines and all that crap. They the 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 meek, <laughs> which, which which are the mass versus the dot. Uh, I became one of the meek criminal. Wow. I know. I know. Yeah. yeah. So so it, it's that way with uh, whatever those in authority. Uh, have to say, um, <laughs> we 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 reference South Park on this show a lot. Um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> but I'm still gonna go. You know, I'm still gonna go. If you can, you know, there is such a thing as as the Earth ships, right? Earth ships. Yes, we have those here in New Mexico, by the way. I know, I know. You live like close to the uh, Garbage Warrior, right? Or in the same. You live in the vicinity of the. Yeah, garbage about warrior. 150 miles. Not wow. that. Not that far. No, yeah. that's like a really neat. How long would it take there to drive there? Oh well, it's not all freeway to get there. You got to go down some dirt roads and such like that. Um, so I don't know, a couple hours. Wow, that's so neat, though, right? Because he is definitely changing everything just by growing something else and with the aim of thriving, though, right? But in order to do that, you know, he, he had to... Yeah, he had to fight the government. He had to fight hard, yeah, and and, and yeah. They, they're still after him. I mean, they still want to... They don't like yeah. it. Oh, these guys are not on the system. We got to get them in the system. They got to be part of this, this whole... Yeah. But that's because he wanted though to make it. Uh, he wanted the patents and the the stuff for his inventions, though, right? Which oh, is sure. why he had to go through the government. If he were just building uh, communities and letting people build whatever, but that's not really his game. He was an architect, right? No, you know what else they they tried to do? Um, there was this group of people. Uh, they they tried to call them terrorists or whatever. Um, that and he said, "Oh, they're they're living up there with all them Earthship people. We got we got to shut all that down." Uh, it, it was I forget what the deal was. Something about the guy had some kids or a couple of wives or I, I don't remember exactly. But oh, okay, well, yeah, yeah. So they they call them terrorists um, <laughs> <laughs> because they they weren't following along. Um, uh, with, uh, They're with, calling Palestinians terrorists. It's, uh, it's you know it should be a um, an honorable uh, label to get. To be a Palestinian. To be a terrorist. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. It usually means freedom fighter though, doesn't it? Well, you know, well, one man's freedom fighter is another man's terrorist, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying, you've got a lot of those earth ships in America, right? Well, I, I don't know how Isn't far. Ways of living? I don't know how far and wide they're spread. I mean, most people don't want to live um, in garbage, uh, even though yeah. if you look at what they've done with that garbage, it's beautiful. Yeah. So, um, I, I mean, and you might as well uh, make have some good use out of the out of the refuse, right? But I think you could you could probably apply some of the same technology to non trash built houses, though. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, yeah, you can With do it. With aquaponic where... systems for your wastewater, and um, you know. Yeah, create your own energy. Uh, you know, have, building greenhouses. Have, have and... nature have nature do the heating for you, and yeah, all, all that stuff. Um, it, it, it's all it's all amazing um, that it's so simple, and yet people still reject it because they want prepackaged kind of things. Because that would be the big game changer, wouldn't it, though? The decentralization of energy production. Absolutely. Uh, and we're still waiting on Larry Woods for our for our decentralized mm -hmm. energy. Where's Larry? Um. <laughs> Do you think that requires that we fight and destroy or that we build and grow to get, you know, decentralized energy production? If that was the goal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it, that is a good, great goal. Um, and I think that that is obviously uh, building and growing uh, there rather than fighting and destroying. Um, uh, yeah. And, and what you're doing is you're taking other stuff that would just become a problem on the earth, whether it's landfills or in the ocean or 
wherever else all, all the refuse winds up at. Um, and so you take that stuff that would go there and you put it to a good use uh, where it has a productive outcome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And and uh, but but they they them those guys the goon goonerment uh, don't don't want you doing that because they, then they can't you know they haven't found the way I guess because it's probably not big enough yet found a way to to force you into paying them for what you're doing without their assistance. Well, I'm just saying, you know, the government and the state, I'm pretty sure in Denmark as well in America, they don't ask. So why 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 ask them? <laughs> right. Well, see, that's that's kind of what it's come to in the world now. Uh it used to be you do whatever you want and and um I used to know a guy in Copenhagen, right? You did, you did. He wanted he wanted a big skateboard ramp, right? Yeah. He was not in nowhere near any permits or anything. Okay. He found an abandoned lot somewhere in Copenhagen, and him and some 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 of his friends they started with shovels and they dug a massive hole, and then they you know they built a, a ramp in the middle of Copenhagen and the whole game was they didn't ask anybody they just had you know they found this abandoned piece of land and they built it and they were in a horse race right to build it so much that some people would start using it before the government figured out it was there right so i did that in in i think it was in 98 or 97 i think we built a park in in the middle of Copenhagen, no permits, no nothing. Right. It was a privately owned, you know, empty abandoned lot in the middle of Copenhagen. And we moved in uh, uh, over one night and we built it a park. And it was there 15 years later. Great. That's Nobody, great. You know. There's yeah. tons of guerrilla gardening and 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 where you build stuff and you do stuff. I know you have guerrilla um, gardeners all over America that are taking back all these little corners of wherever they live and just build parks and gardens and and plant flowers and vegetables. Sure. And, uh, yeah, I imagine, but it, it's depending on where you're doing it, of course. I mean, if you're if you're going to try and do that in the middle of a city, they're going to tear it down. And it doesn't matter how how many people it benefits uh, that you didn't you didn't go through them and ask for permission, so they will tear it down, and and they'll probably do something terrible to the people that built it. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm thinking well, I'm thinking over there in your um, socialist monarchy. Um, <laughs> you there have... were no parks. People needed the park. There were no parks. And even the first day we built the park, the very next day it was full of people and kids playing. That, that... So when they when they came to tear it down, they saw all these people, and all these people were standing up for the park, going, "Don't don't take away this park. We don't have any parks." Right. Well, and again, like I'm thinking, thinking you guys over there have have more freedom than the people here that are supposedly the land of the free. <laughs> See, but I'm pretty sure that there are people in America who built parks too without asking the government for permission to build a fucking park. Maybe. I, I don't know about them if they did. I don't no. know. Can you imagine the paperwork? I want to plant flowers here. May I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that, that's what it comes down to here is now every everything requires permission, whereas before, in you know previous decades, um, you didn't wonder, do I am I allowed to do this? You just did it. And Can I plant flowers on this little yeah. uh, freeway thing? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? But but now now it's down to the point is before you do anything. At all, you got to wonder whether or not you're allowed to do that. So, that, that, that's yeah. you know. So, um, you have to. You have to make parks, man. Build parks. Yeah, parks are good. Yeah, you know. Uh, when I when I was a kid, I just played in the canyon. Um, which, you had a canyon to play in. Yeah, my my house, the house that that um, I grew up in from time i was like four till i was like 11 um it was at the end of a cul-de-sac and then behind the house was just a canyon 
it was just a huge old canyon down there, and and um, I used to, I was down there playing every single day. Um, and uh, I think cool. that's one of the most wonderful American things I've heard in a very long time. When I grew up, I used to play in my canyon. Yeah, it was, it was huge too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they built canyons. I don't know. <laughs> They're kind of big to just build, eh? No, you don't build canyons. Those are natural. <laughs> no, I know. But uh, yeah, it was you great. Look- I'd you know be down there catching lizards or you know, building forts. I had a nice fort down there. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, whatever, man. It was just like all sagebrush and wilderness. Anyway. Somebody built a you know a badass fort up in the woods up here last summer. Yeah. It's so badass, it's still there. Cool. Yeah. Fort, forts are great things for kids, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, you go in there and whatever. Hide, hide out. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. This is my place. This is like, it's like a, a kid's apartment in the, in the, in the wilderness. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, America is big though, right? Well, in comparison to Denmark, sure. But don't you like? I I remember you talking about you have a piece of land that's far away from everything, right? Well, I have an acre of land about ten miles from here. Yeah. Um. So I but, mean, far away. It's well, it's, it's it gets very little traffic, if any. Um. So I I mean that there's that, and then. Well, but it's I, off like off power lines and sewers. Oh yeah, yeah. Roads. If I was if I was to build out there, which I have considered on many occasions, mm-hmm. uh, but if I was to build there, I would have to, uh, you know, drill a well, and I'd have to have a generator. And um, I doubt that there's actually any internet access out there. Um, although I was able to use my cell phone out there, so. So you're not going completely prepping and then building your um, own cult uh, camp out there? Yeah, no, I I, I don't like cults. Um, Mm. I don't want to be a part of one in any manner, and certainly not the leader of one. (laughs) (laughs) You could bring Kate. She could could be the leader. She makes an excellent leader, though. (laughs) She does. Uh, But, uh, yeah, I I don't think she's really into the whole cult thing either, so. No. No, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. No. I don't, no. I don't, I don't, I don't need uh, followers. <laughs> no, but you would have the potential to just grow something there, though, right? Oh, sure, but I mean, there's plenty yeah. of stuff already growing there. Like, so if you had like Larry's technology and and you know, uh, or you know, what uh, any any kind of a uh, uh, power generation, Sorry. I wouldn't necessarily need Larry's, but his would be the best. That mm-hmm. I mean. Uh, Theoretically, his would be the best from everything that I've seen about it. Um, yeah, yeah, that'd be great. I, I put my own little nuclear plant there, I guess. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to be the new Mr. Burns. After they rebuild better and everything collapses. Yeah, hey, Donna, how you doing? <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, Mr. Burns, well... Maybe in another 70 years. He's like 130, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I think, the world, I think maybe the world has enough of the destruction and fighting right now. So, I don't know. I think there should be some sort of balance in an overall scheme. I had a girlfriend that I used to live with there, Free, that used to grow these flowers called impatience. I don't know if you're familiar with those. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, just, gotta look them up. Yeah, a little garden flower, impatience. She, she loved those. Anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, they're nice. Touch me nuts. Is that what they're called? Touch me nuts? Yeah. yeah. yeah she just uh, called them impatience, and I was like, yeah, uh, I've had enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, you don't. You you used to grow a garden, and then you gave it up last year, didn't you? No, here no. I've only done try. I tried one year, and that was a couple of years ago, and uh, it didn't do very well. I have, I have very poor soil here, and I didn't bring any new soil in. So, if I'm gonna do one this year, which I might, um, I'll have to bring in some soil, 
and and uh, grow. I I want to I want to grow white sage. I bought a bunch of se- seeds, um, hmm. and and I was going to grow them last year, but for whatever reason, 2020 just didn't seem like a growing kind of year to me. Hmm. Now you did. You did a nice garden last year. Um, yeah, I I did a Frankenstein cucumber. Like that. a gigantic cute. No, it was a tomato. Sorry, a tomato plant. Oh, okay. Because I I uh, I bought this one bag of rose soil, right? Mm-hmm. Which is like half horse maneuver and half soil. So I just put that in a big pot, and um and stuck a tomato plant in it. Okay. And it turned it. <laughs> it was gig- The tomato plant was gigantic. Great. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, yeah, I remember, I remember Flash saying he was taking tomatoes down to the bar or whatever. <laughs> tomatoes everywhere. Yeah. yeah. You should try that. I, I, I did actually get some tomatoes grown when I was the rest of most of the rest of my garden failed. Um, mm. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I, did, I did have a, a, you know, a pretty good amount of tomatoes growing. Um, I don't know. It's fun. Appa- I think it's fun. Yeah, yeah. Tomatoes grow, growed okay, growed, grow okay growed. <laughs> in the soil here, uh, which Ooh, is in the soil you're here. You're speaking English now. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, basically clay. It's basically solid clay soil here, which is oh. not really known that well for growing fruits and vegetables in. So none of my, no, I, I did get one watermelon. Out of like, I had like four watermelon plants, and I got one watermelon out of them. But wasn't that awesome, though? Oh, it was great, and it was a very nice mm-hmm. tasting uh, watermelon too. Yeah, I can't even imagine growing watermelons. Yeah, I would have to have greenhouses and extra fertilizer, and uh, I don't know. Yeah, the cantaloupes, the honeydews, they didn't grow. But yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. So maybe this year we'll see. I, I, but but my my plan my plan is really to. Uh, uh, just uh, do the do the white sage. I want like a field of white sage in the backyard, um, and and I guess now I'm I'm look I'm thinking about the strawberries because you said they killed weeds and I get a lot of weeds so. Uh, yeah, this, you get you, the small strawberries. Okay, well I'm gonna have yeah. to look into those. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They have pretty yellow flowers and then they have little tiny red berries. Oh, I like big strawberries. Yeah, well, they cover the ground pretty good too. If you get some of those that puts out a lot of greens. Yeah, yeah. White well, sage. You know, because strawberries, there are strawberries that will um, just do one season, and that's that. And yeah. then you got strawberries that would, you know, shoot out arms. Yeah. And take over. Cool. Uh, Free and slave is asking me what's the white sage for. White white sage um, it has it has serves a lot of purposes, uh, but basically for smudging, um, and for my purposes is I would sell it. And that that's what I want to do is I want to sell the white sage to people that want to smudge because I I wouldn't need very much for my own self, um, and uh, that that takes away the uh, bad energies uh, in in whatever uh, where, wherever you're living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And smudging takes you know you you dry it, you bundle it, and you and you burn it. Um, are you familiar with this, sir? Yeah, uh, pancakes. When he came to visit, he brought uh, some of that. Yeah, Let's yeah. Go have it. Yeah. And, and and it's it's a you know it's just a good way to uh, have more positive energies uh, in into your your wherever you're living. So. You use a bundle of white sage and you burn it and you walk around and you think your positive thoughts or whatever the hell. And, um, <laughs> yeah, it's just that kind of, yeah, it's a, it's a hippie thing. It's a hippie thing. Yeah, and I, I'm a hippie. Been one my entire yeah. life. I was a hippie yeah. when I was born. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be one when I die. Uh yeah, yeah, white sage. Yeah. That's his. Yeah. <laughs> he uh, also brought cinnamon leaves. Oh, moose, 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 moose says it's not a hippie thing. Well, okay, Native American, New Age, how, however you want to look at it, you know. But uh, 
Uh, you don't see it going on in, in your typical person's house because uh, they, you know, oh, what kind of stuff is that? Of, of course. Well, if, if you run around naked while you smudge, then it's a hippie thing, right? I guess. I don't know. All right. I, I, I could do that. <laughs> I mean, just don't let just don't let the hot ashes fall on the wrong parts. Um, <laughs> if, if you're if you're smudging naked, uh, well, that, smudging naked. Well, I don't know. That sounds like a website. It does. Yeah, smudging naked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But pancakes also brought uh, whole cinnamon leaves. Cinnamon like dried leaves. whole cinnamon leaves. All right. And they were really neat because you made them into tea and they were very cinnamony. Oh, good. That's good. Yeah. I like. I, 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 I really like cinnamon. I'm a, I'm a big fan of cinnamon. So maybe you should try to grow cinnamon yourself too? I, yeah, I haven't thought about that. I, I don't even, yeah. Man, it yeah. might be something to think about. I don't about. know. The whole garden growing thing for me is just it's something to do outside. And it's fun, and you create something, and you you know you get to feel like you're part of life. Yeah, it's that you get. There's, there's definitely something when just getting your hands in the dirt. Yeah. It, there's 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 you know whatever you, you get grounded or you get a connection or whatever. It's a, it's a feeling uh, that that uh, yeah. There's, there's no and way. And the I'll... daily rituals of the chores and the. And you go through them and you do them every day. And there's just something really neat about it. And, and it's, you know, because the soon the summer comes, I'm hardly inside. I'm always outside in the garden. And just having something to do. Last year, though, I had way too many summer flowers. So I was always behind on watering them. Right. Because they, like, needed watered five, six times a day. <laughs> No. Really? Okay. No. Well, if, if it's really hot, and yeah. Sure. So I'm not doing summer flowers that much this year. Well, you, you could set up a drip irrigation easy enough and put it on a timer. Yeah, that's true. And that's those true. are that's inexpensive too. That's 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 pretty and, cheap to do. Oh, well, maybe I should do that. Though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the summer flowers are good for the bees. Yeah. Yeah, and you need the bees. You know, the bees got to be yeah. around. In order for the rest yeah. of your stuff to grow, for your vegetables and, and fruits to grow, you need the bees there, oh, there are, to pollinate. So, I, I keep bee uh, bars and bee water places and flowers all over the garden in the summer to keep the bees happy. Yeah. See, we don't we don't get a lot of insects up here, and so there's not a lot of bees, um, or you know anything else for that matter. Um, mm. I don't, and I don't know why. Maybe it's just my piece of property that. Uh, they don't. They don't come on. I don't know if they're everywhere else. <laughs> but the little bees are not. You know, um, they're not in a good place on planet Earth right now. No, there's so many chemicals attacking them, and uh, mm-hmm. all the radiation from the cell phones, and you know, mm-hmm. there's a lot of things that that mess up bees and their their livelihoods of going yeah. out and collecting pollen to make the honey that. That I really like too. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, and the and the uh, you know the fruits, the veggies that we like so much too. Sure, yeah. Well, they, you need the pollinators. Yeah, yeah. you got you got to have them. And yeah. uh, you know, birds can only do so much. Uh, the, the bees are are your main source of pollination. Yeah, but yeah. we're halfway. You know, or not halfway. Okay, I'm being optimistic, but almost halfway to the summer, right? Well, yeah, we're at least halfway through winter here. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, we're over halfway through winter, I think. I don't know. Um, but, well, maybe about maybe a third. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. but, uh, yeah, summer will come. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. And I'm enjoying the snow. Do you have snow, Grimner, right now? No. 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 But I think, I think some's coming tonight. Uh, oh, lucky you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't. I don't know if you listened to the Freakers Ball show uh, this from this last I Friday think. or not. But I mentioned uh, my my. I have this light on a pole in my front yard mm. that comes on, you know, at sunset and goes off in the in the morning. Um, yeah. 
Well, it's it's a really it was really old and apparently uh, frail, and the, we had a lot of wind last week, and and it got blown off the the pole. Huh. And so there was just my the light bulb sticking out there, um, <laughs> in the middle of in the middle of that. So uh, yeah, last night I went out there and I and I uh, put a uh, big plastic baggie over it with duct tape. So so that when the snow comes, uh, it doesn't get down there in the socket, the electrical socket. Yes. Are you going to repl- Are you going to build your own lamp, or see if you can replace it from store board, or what you're going to do? With yeah, it? no, I I ordered already ordered it. Mm-hmm. Easy for me to say. Already <laughs> ordered it. Uh, it should be here on Wednesday. Um, it's a new fixture to go on top of the pole. Uh, so. Yeah. You have a flagpole in your garden. A flagpole? Yeah, you know no. you raise a flag. No. No. If That's I did, not a well, what kind, anyway. what kind of flag would I possibly raise in my garden or anywhere else in my know. property? I don't know. It's very common in Denmark to have a flagpole in your garden. And what kind of flags do they put up? Danish flags. The, so my fla- mom has a flag. The flag of the state. They put up the flag of the state. The flag of their people. You you could put up your that's own. The, that's the flag. flag. That's, the RLM, come and get it, flag. That, that's <laughs> that, that's the flag of the government. That's not the flag of the people. Um, Are you <laughs> Of course, you know. Yeah, everybody always says, um, uh, like, like if there's like a, a, a war, the uh, United States goes to war somewhere. They say we went to war over there. Um, <laughs> no, we didn't go to war over there. Your government decided to go and kill a bunch of people, and they took a bunch of your your relatives along with them to do the killing. That's that's not a we. That's a they and dragging your ass into it, whether you want to or not. Um, you, I, you could raise a different flag, though. I don't. I don't. I have no interest in flags. No. <laughs> no. Well, actually, there is a flag, an American flag, that's in my garage. That was sitting in the corner of my garage. That was there when I moved in here. The old woman that, that I bought the place from left it in there. And I have never touched it or moved it or done anything with it. It just sits there rotting. An oh, American flag. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I, is it made in China? Or is it, you know. Oh, no. I, 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 I think, in America. I, I haven't looked at it to know, but I assume because it's probably really old. Um, that it was probably an American made flag and it's on, a, you know, it's on a pole, uh, you know, just, it's not a extendable, it's probably, uh, there's probably flag holders somewhere around the edge of the house that whatever, uh, no flag. I gotta say, I love the Danish flag though. Okay. I do. Yeah, I do. All right. I've even considered getting a flagpole. And putting up a Danish flag. Well, not a, a square flag. I would put up a, a less formal kind of uh, elongated little strip flag, right? Because cause the flag has rules. You can only do them on certain days, and you have to take them down before eight, six o'clock at night, and yada yada yada. But <laughs> you can put up these little uh, cloths that looks, you know, they don't have all those rules. Okay. I'm sure you have a flag law too, right? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but I I don't uh, I I don't associate it with the state though. I associate it with my people. Well, and that's what they want. They they want you to believe that the state and your people are one. Uh, you know, it's just like yeah, everybody. Yeah. You know, it's a whole a thing of being an American, which means. What does that just mean? Because, just because they want me to think that doesn't mean I have to, does it? No, no, it does not mean that at all. It's just that's what they want. So um, I have much love for my people and this, the history of my people and the language we share and, and uh, the cultures and the habits. I have much love for that. I, I, I have a great disdain for the majority of people. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do. If it weren't like, you know, like I go back to all this mass crap. Uh, if it weren't for the people buying into the nonsense being shoveled in their faces, 
you wouldn't have the lockdowns. You wouldn't have all this mass crap. They are you would, victims, you, you just would, like you are. But they're not. They are but, but they're but they're fully buying. You are too. But they buy into it, which causes me to be a victim of, of their belief in the authority, their belief, their following, their adherence the, to the authority is what makes me be a victim no, of the, the nonsense. No, it's the beast, man. It's the monster. It's the beast. They are so taken over by this. Their their vibrations and frequencies are not even close to being understanding of this. You can't blame victims. Yes, I can. No. <laughs> yes. They were brought up in this mess. Their their entire brains just like ours is. Well, yeah, our, I was brought up in the same crap they were and Yes. And, and I didn't so? I didn't wind up being one of them. Yes, you did in your way. She did, and then you went a little further, and you move in different ways. But that doesn't mean that you're not a victim, and they're not a victim. Well, I, I don't. Okay, I don't okay, understand tell, 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 the whole thing about about taking it to your fellow man. Tell, tell, tell me this. Tell me this. Your fight should be with the beast and the system, and and the people who are on well, top of this. Without the people, there is no system, right? That's not true. There are some people that there there are other people, but there are some people here that are way more guilty than your neighbor. Sure, there are, and they will yep. be held to account, as V would say. Um, uh, anyway, but tell me, tell me this: back yes. back in your punker days, punker chick, yes. did yes. you did you have buttons that you put on whatever clothing you were wearing? I did, and I grew back then. I did not see myself as part of the uh, my fellow men. Okay. I did not no, see no, no, myself no, no, no. All right. here. So one was was one of those buttons, one that said, "Question authority." No. You didn't have that. No. That's like a. Punk I had one. No, no. Okay. I was way more emo and punk than that. I didn't question fuck all. <laughs> Fuck that! No, All no. Right. There was there, there. It said uh, no future, no light. Right? Okay, I'm not sure I get yeah. that. But no future, no light. No, right. there is no future. There's. I, I, are you kidding me? I was not in it for negotiating with anybody. I was not in it for consensus. I was in it for creating non-consensus. Well, well. When I say question authority, I don't mean literally go up and ask them questions. <laughs> It, just, <laughs> it means it means when they say something, look at what they've said and and find out why it's a lie because it is a lie. Well, you know that would be piss on authority, wouldn't it? Well, if you if that's the way you want to phrase it, sure. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. That's what I did. Though every fucking Friday, I was pissing all over authority. Just Friday? I was doing a no, but every Friday when I was an activist, at least every Friday, we were doing uh, reclaim the streets, uh, which was unlicensed. We didn't get no permit demos and and protests. With with we didn't ask the state if we could make a protest, right? We took Good. our fucking bike and protested. Uh, See, but I, I was, I mean, I liked punk music. I went to punk concerts. Yeah. And, I mean, I, I was a punk. But I was not like one of you spike-haired people. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was more a punk in the style of the Ramones. Um, yes. T-shirts, blue jeans, and long hair. Um, yeah, <laughs> that uh, not not like a Sex Pistols style punk. <laughs> no, no, no. Although I did, I like, understand that a Bruce Springsteen wannabe. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm teasing you, Jim. Uh, oh god. Well, we're gonna yes. we're gonna punk our way on out of here. We're out of time. But but I gotta say one thing before we go, and then you're just gonna have to go over time. Ooh ooh. Okay. I don't know. Maybe Kate will allow it. She'll allow, she'll allow anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, but but uh, back then, I thought I, I I lived in a world where I you, you know that was way before the the whole calling them NPCs. But we did right. Yeah. We used to call all ordinary people, so-called ordinary people, uh, robots, right? And and we're above them. 
I saw myself way above those uh, pre-programmed robots that that uh, just went through life, never questioned anything, never stopped off, never did anything to create something. They didn't create anything, if that's what I saw, right? Yeah. And I saw them as these gray uniform, uh, mentally slave uh, people. And and uh, and it made me miserable, and it didn't accomplish anything. And I was constantly in resistance with the people around me. Um, I didn't want consensus. I really still don't, you know, want consensus. But but I I do want to create stuff. I do want to be in a creative mode. And I found that when I take those people and I don't see them as the robots, and I don't make them my enemy. I can actually loosen up a lot of people and we can start creating stuff and doing stuff. And that's way more important to me than bringing my political views to a vet or to some person in a store. Okay. So that was really important for me to say because that whole thing about not being part of of the people around you, Uh it did not do anything good for me and I didn't accomplish anything with it. Okay. Okay, that was from my gut. <laughs> all right, all right. Now let me ask you. I, I just thought of it while you were while you were doing your little monologue there. Yeah, I am ranting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me just ask you. Have you ever seen the movie Repo Man? I don't think so. No. With Emilio Estevez. I definitely know. Oh, it's it's one of the best movies ever. You got to see that. Anyway. Okay. Uh, at one part, he's he's with this guy. Uh, that's that that's an old Repo Man, and he's training to be a Repo Man. With this guy, and they're parked on this this road somewhere, and and he says, uh, "Bud, that's the guy's name. Bud was the uh, older guy, and and Otto was the Emilio West of his character. Anyway, there's some people over doing some stuff out there, just in public, you know. And uh, Bud 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 points over there to him, and he says, "You see those people over there? Ordinary fucking people. I hate them." <laughs> <laughs> Ordinary fucking people. I hate them. That's, that's like, that's me. That's me. But anyway, you yeah, got you, you got to watch that movie. It's it's it's. I uh, will. It's a, it's a I punk- probably won't, but I'll say I will. No, it's a, it's a total punker movie. Um, okay. That's uh, <laughs> great stuff. Anyway, we're all, we're we're over time. So um, <laughs> thanks everybody for tuning in here to It's All Connected with Grimner and Sirk. Uh, we'll be back next Monday, hopefully. Um, uh, you know, we're barring whatever. If, if God and Lennon will it, right? Lennon? John? <laughs> <laughs> Not Vlad, certainly. <laughs> Vlad Lennon. <laughs> oh, God. Yes. All right, everybody have a great day, a great week. Um, <laughs> stay away from people. <laughs> Embrace people. <laughs> Go out and hug people. They love it. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Don't. Well, okay, the, don't. the right people, they just uh, you know, not 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 the wrong ones. So, and you, and build canyons. Build yeah, build canyons. <laughs> <laughs> be be like whatever. All right, talk to you later. Peace. Yes. Yeah, peace.